Hey Fulu, hope you're having a bad morning. There's a good chance you're watching this video because you saw the last video I made on a talented artist named X, 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 X. <laughs> Look, I can explain. X, 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 Tentacion. Okay, so what do, what do you want me to call you? Just call me X. X or Young Dagger Dick. <laughs> young, you want me to call you Young Dagger young Dick? Young Dagger Dick. <laughs> you, you want me to say and call you Young Dagger Dick? Young Dagger Dick. I, I don't think I'm going to do that. I will call you X. Oh. I see how it is. You don't think you're gonna do that, but I will. But first, let's talk about something I forgot to mention in the documentary. Where he was when he got the name XXX Tentacion. I was in boot camp and I used to jack off a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, bro, I'm talking about I was watching blue movie after blue movie and like, nigga, my grandma wouldn't let me use the bathroom no more. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you were getting off in your grandma's house? And we get my grandma's bathroom. <laughs> oh my god! And that's on the grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I had 161 subscribers before I released the documentary, and that number blew up since the documentary came out. If you're a new subscriber, the first thing you need to know about me is I usually make comedy videos. The documentary was supposed to be a rare exception because I made it for therapeutic reasons, but after reading all the positive comments and after finding out how good I actually am at making documentaries, I'm definitely going to make more in the future. Until then, I hope you enjoy this video. I tried to cover a lot of aspects regarding Young Dagger Dick. But the one thing I couldn't really do for obvious reasons was the sense of humor, which is going to be the main focus of this video. So without further ado, let's start this video with the most important chapter. I used to go to church and pray that was my resort. People see me on the corner and resort to reports. Young Dagger Dick was musically talented, his opinions were interesting, and he also had a desire to help people. He also loved uploading dick pics. <laughs> In his own words, I post pics of my dick every now and then. Like, do you seriously? I, yeah, no, yes, bro. Ask these niggas. Stop, ask my bro. fans, bro. So you can have a whole shitload of dick pics already posted, so they'll be ready for them. We, we want to make the. You want to make the picture my dick pic? Yeah, it Yo, definitely. Yeah, me. on YouTube, he's getting me all zooted up. Now I'm gonna go post a dick pic too. I'm getting motivated. Bro, it's man. not that bad because then bitches see it and they're like, "Yo, this thing is so confident. I wonder what his dick game's like." Bro, I've gotten so many fucking bitches off like just posting my dick. She gripping my dick like a selfie stick. You feel me? Yeah. And the funny thing is, even though you may have cried while watching the documentary I made, my channel actually consists of a ton of dick jokes, and this is only coming from two different videos. Point is, it's just... Cock. 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 I think it's all about cock. But what else is there? The fact that, because you can see my knob in this video, well, my very nice big knob, I don't even have a boner by the way, I think it's just cock, really. Everything is cock. The cock revolution. It is pretty weird having a comedy channel on YouTube and the first viral video I made is an emotional tribute that made a lot of people cry. It's a bit odd, but I like that a lot. I got one life to live, I'm too young to die now. Ask my family if they like to go and die now. Young Dagger Dick was quite unpredictable. He directed a really short movie about how expectations are what make people judge others. You wanna see me take a shit? Here. Oh, you thought I was gonna let you see me take a shit? Well, you're wrong. Don't judge a book by its cover. He also did porn that was filmed by a guy named Bruno. For obvious reasons, I can't show you that footage, but I can let young Dagger Dick explain why he did it. When I was a kid, like, I always wanted to, I, I loved fucking, you feel me? I loved, I loved fucking bitches. Like, I just thought it was cool. Like, excuse my, excuse my language. I love, I love fucking females. Respect women. You get what you give and I'm giving them hell. Stuck up in my head like a prisoner cell. I've been dicking around with this video a bit too much. I said I would talk about why he called himself Young Dagger Dick, so let's do it. If my dick is little, somebody likes my dick enough to suck my dick. You feel me? Is your dick little? No, no, it's, it's actually really big. Well, see, my thing is, I got a really long dick, you feel me? Like, my dick's like a good eight, maybe nine, you feel me? I got a really long dick, but it's like really, really skinny and pointy. So, like, it hits your G spot, like, right? Like, you feel me? Hit, hit a nigga up if you want to you wanna come, you feel me? Because I can make you come. I get right to the point, you feel me? Young Dugger dick. Worry about my friends, how they think, how they feel. It tears me up aside to see a body for real. So, going back to Geneva, she posts pictures of her body, and that's all well and good. If you want to show your body to the world because you're proud of it, that's perfectly fine. But while I was doing my research on her, I found this tweet. I mean, um, uh, I mean, hey, if, if you want to find other streams of income, then that's cool, I guess. I would never knock the hustle, you know. You got to make money somehow, you know. I mean, uh, wait. 
What are you doing here? This is a public service announcement. Excuse me, who are you? All y'all out here sucking toes and y'all don't want to tag the king. Hey, what are you I doing? I started this shit. Tag me. Assume the position. Excuse me, you're not supposed to be here. Get out of here, man. This is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass, Larry. Actually, no. This is what happens when you take young dagger dick out of context. I'd be in the cut and then when I'd say some shit, It'd be some weird shit. Like, I'd say some crazy shit like, oh. I'm a nigga. I'll go to my nigga and be like, yo, you sexy, nigga. Like, yo, like, you you, you my love like young thug, nigga. Yo, you sexy over there, son. You looking sexy. Yo, son. Yo, son, you looking real sexy. Yo, I'll lick them fucking tic tac face tats off your, your face, nigga. That's your mans? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't eat. I don't, I'm, um, I'm low-key like a carnivore. Well, not a carnivore. Like, what is it? What you eat humans? Cannibal. I don't, I don't, I don't eat food. Like, I don't eat regular food. I eat humans. Whose man's is this? So, so like, <laughs> fucking, um, nah. What was I talking about? Fuck, I mean, anything, bro. <laughs> you ever fuck a girl and a pussy just smells super bad? Yo. Oh, oh, oh! Crazy. Crazy. He was stabbed several times and uh, is in critical condition right now. And apparently, I mean, he might die, so I don't, I don't know what's going on. But I just know he might die. <laughs> Triple X, yes, I put that on my chest. Fuck some ice on my neck, I put your name on the check. I think it's time to get serious. The response the documentary received has been nothing short of amazing. I've been making YouTube videos for two and a half years and I never made anything that went viral. And honestly, I'm glad this documentary is my first viral success. I don't know if this video is gonna gain that many views or if I'll ever really grow an audience on YouTube, but knowing that an emotional documentary might be the peak of my success is actually something I can be really proud of. I've gotten some comments about Riley re-uploading the documentary because people think she stole it. She actually asked me if I wanted her to re-upload it and I said yes because I knew the film needed to be seen by as many people as possible and it wouldn't have gotten the exposure it deserved if I didn't let a bigger channel re-upload it. XXXTentacion was a genius who will live forever through his music and his fan base will only keep growing and soon enough you'll be seeing new rappers coming up getting interviewed saying they were inspired by X. What he's forgetting is that they call me Young Dagger Dick, I fucked too. <laughs> so don't don't forget that, you feel me? If you're trying to get fucked, you feel me? My service is not that bad. Hey, I'll, go man. For, I'll go for like two bucks an hour. That's real. I'm talking late nights, think of what you did for me. I had a dream last night and you spoke to me. Bro, what the fuck is this? No car, no crib, but I got some kids. Give them money so they never have to hit a lick. While I was making this documentary, I expected certain kinds of criticism that I didn't really end up getting. I don't know if it's because the documentary was really that good, but the most common criticism I got was I said X made two albums, which I never thought would be mentioned, yet it constantly pops up. When I said XXXTentacion made two albums, I was trying to say XXXTentacion made two solo studio albums that consist of mostly new material that wasn't previously released. Ice Hotel, The Fall, It Wasn't Enough, Willy Wonka Was a Child Murderer, and A Ghetto Christmas Carol were all EPs and mixtapes. Technically, they can be considered as albums, but not in the way that I meant for the context of what I was trying to say. Members Only Volumes 1, 2, and 3 are all collaborative mixtapes. And as for Revenge, Revenge is a mixtape, which I called a compilation album in the documentary because it consists entirely of previously released songs from SoundCloud. And Free X is not an official album. It was uploaded on Spotify by some dickhead that wanted to make money off of X's music. I guess I should have clarified that in the documentary, but it's over 40 minutes long and I didn't think I needed to be much clearer. The weirdest thing about the criticism is I didn't actually get the criticism that I expected. I thought at least one person would have said that Chapter 2 dragged on for too long because of X's story in jail. And I also expected a lot of backlash for Chapter 9 because I'm essentially defending Geneva in a way. I thought someone might have said I was white knighting or a shit like that. Thankfully I didn't get that kind of criticism and I'm glad that Chapter 9 was completely flawless and I made no mistakes. Uh, oh, uh, I, I mean...